Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we cut through the BS and show you how to actually make money without being chained to a desk or drowning in student loan debt. And let's be real, the traditional go to college, get a degree, find a job path isn't working out great for a lot of people. Many are stuck with massive debt and underwhelming salaries to show for it. But for many people, there's a secret to breaking free from that cycle and making serious money from your couch. And if you nail this one thing, you could be earning more than your college classmates while they're still figuring out how to defer their student loan payments. Let's talk about certifications and certificates that employers are actually desperate for in 2025. That's right, I'm talking about certifications and certificates that employers are actually desperate for in 2025. The ones that can transform your income without transforming your bank account into a financial horror story. And I know this might come across as a bit of a shocking revelation, but going $100,000 in debt for a piece of paper that probably doesn't get you a job, and if you're lucky, gets you a $40,000 starting salary is the biggest scam in American history. And so many of these so-called prestigious universities with their ivy-colored buildings and fancy brochures are selling you a $200,000 education that could be replaced with a $500 certification and some YouTube tutorials. And they're showing you statistics about lifetime earnings that conveniently leave out the soul-crushing debt that you'll likely carry into your 40s and 50s. So let me break this down for you super simple. There's a big difference between a certificate and a certification. A certificate shows you completed a course or a program, and most of them are basically participation trophy level sh**. A certification means that you passed a standardized exam that tests your knowledge against industry standards. And this is the real deal that makes employers actually give a damn about your application, if it's a good certification. But neither of these requires you to spend four years and your entire financial future on a degree. And look, I've spent years helping people land remote jobs, and I've seen firsthand what actually works versus the complete garbage that universities are pushing. And by the way, this is universities in the US for a lot of countries out there. University and college degrees are still worth it, especially considering they're very affordable in most countries. But in the US, while they're telling you to spend $50,000 a year on the college experience, I'm about to show you how to spend less than a grand to completely transform your income. So these five credentials that I'm gonna talk about are the real deal. They can take you from making minimum wage to making 50,000, even $75,000 a year within months. And this is with no college degree, no previous experience, and no soul crushing student loan debt that follows you like a shadow for 25 years. Just pure practical skills that employers are desperate to hire for right now. And I'm serious, there are companies out there with remote positions open for months because they can't find qualified people with these specific credentials. And if you find value in this video, take a quick second to hit that like button because it helps more people discover these opportunities. And let's be honest, we all wish someone had told us about these certifications and certificates sooner. Now, by the way, quick obligatory disclaimer, the salary figures I mentioned come from sources like Glassdoor. These are average estimates, not guarantees. And your actual salary can vary depending on your experience, location, or the company that you work for, as well as many other factors. So use these numbers as a general guide, not a promise of what you'll earn. And as always, make sure you do your own research. So let's cut through all the BS and get into these five certs that are actually worth your time and money in 2025. And the first cert is going to be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Now, most certificates out there, like I said, are basically participation trophies. Now, this is a certificate, not a certification, and it's awarded after completing Google's training program, not by passing an industry standardized exam. But don't let that fool you. This certificate carries some serious weight with employers. And the dirty little secret in the certificate and certification industry is that only 20% of the value of a cert is how valuable the actual information and the training inside of the cert is. 80% of the value comes from the perception of the certificate or certification from the hiring manager or the decision maker. And Google has a massive brand name that people respect. And that's why this cert carries serious weight with employers. And another great thing is the IT field is absolutely exploding right now. According to Google, there are literally 3.5 million unfilled IT positions in 2025. And the crazy thing is, a lot of the time, the skills that are taught in these certs are not taught in these super expensive $100,000 college degrees. Why? Because the reason that Google started creating these certificates is because they couldn't find people that have these skills, right? Colleges were putting people out, boot camps were putting people out that did not have the skills that were actually necessary and needed in the job 
job market. So believe it or not, you don't need to spend two years studying calculus and a bunch of other classes where you're never gonna use the information again in order to land an IT job. And I have seen this firsthand with my students. Just look at all the positive comments on the last Google IT support professional certificate that I put out, like this one, this one, or this one. All right, quick break. This Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern time, I'm hosting a free live workshop called The Greatest Business to Start in 2026 with YouTube. If you've been struggling to find your YouTube niche or you don't wanna spend months or even years building a channel around something that isn't profitable or just doesn't work for you in general, then this workshop is for you. Because for everyone who shows up live, I'll be giving away the Hidden Niche Finder 2.1. This is the most advanced version of my GPT-powered niche validation tool yet, and it's designed to help you instantly test and uncover profitable YouTube niches before you invest your time, money, and effort into the wrong one. And it's the most refined, data-driven version so far, and I'll be giving it away completely free, but only during this live workshop. So attend the free live workshop by clicking that link down the description and the pinned comment below to grab it. You'll also be able to ask me questions live, so I look forward to meeting you. Oh, and just a heads up, this will be probably one of the last times I'll be giving away a version of the Niche Validator for free, so make sure you click that link and show up to the workshop. Make sure you put it in your calendar and I look forward to seeing you there. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So what super valuable IT skills do you actually learn studying this cert? Well, you'll master troubleshooting, customer service, networking, operating systems, systems administration, and security. Basically everything you need to fix people's tech problems remotely, which is what entry-level IT is all about. And unlike a four-year degree where you learn outdated programming languages from professors who haven't worked in the industry since dial-up internet, this program is created by Google. You know, one of the most valuable and powerful companies in the world. So let me walk you through what your career path might look like. You start as a remote help desk technician making anywhere from forty dollars to $77,000 a year. And this job is going to be your first point of contact when people have tech issues, from password resets to troubleshooting to software problems, all while wearing your pajama pants. Or you could get an in-person job, and especially if you're willing to move to an undesirable area, it is super easy to land a job. Now, after a year or two of experience, you can move up to a remote IT support specialist position making fifty-six dollars to $88,000 a year. And this is where you'd handle more complex issues and you'd start specializing in certain systems. And with a few more years under your belt, you could land at a company like Google where remote IT positions pay $74,000 to $138,000 a year. But it all starts with one certificate that costs less than a single semester's worth of college textbooks. And the best part is most people think you'd need to be some math genius or coding wizard with a Stanford degree to work in tech. Absolutely not true. As one professional explained, numbers aren't really involved either. And if they are, they're on your screen the whole time. But universities will still try to convince you that you need to take three semesters of calculus and differential equations to get an IT degree because, you know, reasons. And even Reddit, one of the most negative places on the internet, is filled with remote success stories. One user shared, I finished that course a few months back and with no official experience, landed a fully remote job for a little over $15 an hour as a tier one tech. Another person said the Google IT support cert was my first IT cert and that was only three years ago. And they've been working remotely for 14 months now. So both of these people are making good money while college graduates are still trying to figure out how to defer their massive loan payments for another year. And the investment is minimal. $39 a month subscription on Coursera to take this cert itself with financial aid available, and you can finish it in as little as two to three months if you put in the time. And that's less than what most universities charge for their wellness center fee that you never even use. Now, by the way, if you're serious about taking certifications and certificates and getting into something like this, I do have a list of courses, certifications, and certificates that I recommend, which I'll put down down the description and the pinned comment below. You can check those out, see which one is right for you, and all of them are either free or extremely affordable. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shane, if this Google certificate is so good, why would I even need anything else? Well, stick with me because while Google does open doors, this next certification kicks them down and doesn't require a single student loan. And that is the CompTIA A+. Now, this is a certification and it is basically the industry gold standard and it's the most recognized entry-level IT certification in the entire world. And yes, this is a true certification, not just a certificate. And that means you have to pass a standardized exam that tests your knowledge against industry benchmarks. And this carries more weight with employers than a certificate because it proves that you can apply your knowledge, not just complete a course. Now, the CompTIA A plus is no joke. It's recognized globally and it covers everything from hardware and networking to security and operating systems. And it requires passing two exams, Core 1 and Core 2, which cost $239 each. But don't let that price tag scare 
scare you. This certification is an absolute game changer for landing remote work. And $478 is about 1% the cost of a bachelor degree these days. And this certification actually teaches you skills that employers are looking for, not how to analyze 16th century poetry or the mating habits of sea urchins. So let me paint a picture of what your career progression might look like with this cert. You start as a remote IT technician making anywhere from forty to $77,000 a year. And your day-to-day -day might involve installing software remotely, configuring workstations, and helping people solve their tech problems from the comfort of your home. Or you can get an in-person job as well, and that's even easier. And then after gaining experience, you could move into a remote business analyst role making eighty-one dollars to $133,000 a year. And this would be where you bridge the gap between business needs and technical solutions. And with more work experience and maybe a few more certifications, you could jump into a remote associate network engineer position making $96,000 to $150,000 a year. And here you'd be responsible for setting up and maintaining computer networks remotely. So you basically think of yourself as the person who keeps everything connected and running smoothly without ever leaving your house. And what sets this certification apart in 2025 is the increased emphasis on remote troubleshooting and support, but also cloud technologies and security. And these are all extremely essential skills in the modern world. So the CompTIA A Plus has evolved to cover artificial intelligence considerations, cloud-based productivity tools, and multiple operating systems, which is exactly what employers are looking for in remote workers right now. Meanwhile, college curriculum takes five to seven years to update. So what you're learning in college was good five to seven years ago, but it's probably outdated now. And that also means that most graduates are entering the workforce with skills that were relevant when TikTok didn't even exist. And the success stories speak for themselves. One person reported that I was able to get my first fully remote IT job with no experience with just the A+. And they said they started at $18 an hour and they moved to a bigger company a year later and now they make $25 an hour. And they're working 100% from home. Plus they said they're about to get a 6% raise in June. So you might be thinking, Shane, doesn't the Google IT support cert also help you get into similar jobs? Yes, it does. So which one should I get? Well, actually I recommend getting both. I think these two pair extremely well together. And if you get these two, you are absolutely going to be able to land a job. But the number three cert is going to be one that's extremely niche, but is incredibly high demand. And that is the Salesforce Certified Administrator Certification. And yes, this is a true certification that requires passing an official exam. So unlike completing a course for a certificate, this certification tests your ability to actually implement and manage the Salesforce platform according to industry standards. And unlike a marketing degree where you spend four years learning outdated theories from professors who've never run a successful marketing campaign, this certification tests you on what actually works in the real world today. Now, if you're not aware, Salesforce is one of the biggest CRMs in the world, and it is an absolute money-making machine. Probably half the big companies in the world need people who know how to use it. And guess what? It can be done 100% remotely. Now, there's probably people who went through entire college curriculums on marketing, and they didn't even hear about Salesforce a single time. And that's because most college curriculums don't even know about it. But it's something that half the big companies in the world use. And the beautiful thing about Salesforce is it requires zero coding skills to start. It's all about understanding business processes and knowing how to configure the platform to meet a company's needs. So let me break down what a remote Salesforce career path looks like. You'd probably start as a remote sales operations specialist, and you'd be making anywhere from sixty dollars to $114,000 a year. And this is where you'd be setting up and customizing Salesforce for sales teams. So in this position, you're the person who makes their lives easier by automating repetitive tasks and creating reports that help them close more deals. And after a couple of years, you might become a remote Salesforce developer earning $102,000 to $150,000 a year. And you'd be building more complex solutions within the platform. From there, you could move into a Salesforce consultant role making $94,000 to $152,000 a year. Or you could become a full-blown remote customer sales manager making $104,000 to $187,000 a year. And you did all of this in the same time that it took your college friends to graduate with their expensive degree, where they're probably, if they're lucky, going to land a job making $50,000 a year in middle management. And the other great thing is there is a massive shortage of Salesforce talent right now. Companies are literally begging for people who have these skills who can work remotely. And the certification exam only costs $200. And the crazy thing is Salesforce provides all of the training materials for free through their trailhead platform. It's gamified, step-by-step, -step, and surprisingly fun. You earn badges, points, and even virtual characters as you learn. And they're doing all this because they are desperate to get people that are trained in Salesforce. So it's kind of like playing a video 
video game that pays you six figures to work in your underwear. And that's a little bit better than a $100,000 college degree where they're going to make you create PowerPoint presentations about the history of supply chain theories from the 1970s. And the success stories from real people are mind blowing. One user reported, I just hired a junior admin with only the admin cert and no professional experience with Salesforce for a fully remote position. He used Trailhead and online learning to get there. And he came 99% of the way to nailing a technical challenge, presented it to us by explaining why he made his decisions and documented the process. And he actually did better than people with years of experience. So if you know someone who's drowning in student loan debt or considering taking out loans for a business degree, do them a massive favor and share this video with them right now. But you might be thinking, you know what, Shane, uh, sales really isn't my thing. Maybe you're a little bit more creative and you like the idea of crafting messages that connect with people. Maybe you're a little more analytical and you want to crunch some numbers on a spreadsheet. Well, you are absolutely going to love this next option. And that is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate. Now, this is another certificate. So it's not something where you're going to have to take a test. But because of the fact that it's backed by Google, it's still respected by hiring managers and decision makers. And the world is absolutely drowning in data right now. And companies everywhere need people who can analyze this data and turn it into actionable insights. And in many cases, you can do it 100% remotely. And no, you do not need an $80,000 statistics degree. In fact, you can learn the practical skills that employers need in just a few months with this cert. So what do you learn in this cert? Everything from data collection to analysis and communication, plus you'll cover SQL, Tableau, our programming, and of course, spreadsheets, aka the exact tools that companies actually use today, not outdated methods from the 1980s. And one user reported that it is a beautifully crafted on-ramp to the world of data analytics. Using the tools that I learned from this certificate, I created a portfolio that showcased my abilities as an analyst, and I successfully transitioned into a full-time position in data analytics. And if you don't believe me, just look at the comments on my video that I did reviewing this cert. Overwhelmingly positive. So if you're serious about breaking into the data world without going into crippling debt, click the link in the description to get started with the Google Data Analytics Certificate on Coursera today because it's only $39 and the first seven days is free if you use that link. Now, what if you're interested in data, but you want something even more specialized that can command even higher remote salary? Well, that's where our next option comes in and it doesn't require a fancy computer science degree or memorizing algorithms that you'll never use outside of the classroom. And that is the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification. Now, the reason why I talk about this one is because anything related to the cloud is insanely valuable right now. And AWS, aka Amazon Web Services, is one of the most commonly used cloud platforms. And in order to get the certification, you'll have to pass Amazon's standardized exam that tests your knowledge of cloud concepts, services, security, architecture, and pricing. And this is the globally recognized gold standard that validates your skills against industry standards. And as fast as IT skills are growing, cloud skills are probably growing like five times faster. Companies everywhere are moving their infrastructure infrastructure to the cloud, and they need people who understand this technology. And they typically hire people remotely because it's the cloud. Now, the beautiful thing about the Cloud Practitioner Cert is that it requires no programming experience. It's designed for absolute beginners who want to understand cloud concepts like AWS services, security, architecture, and pricing. So let's look at what this cert looks like. This is your entry point into an entire ecosystem of cloud roles. And while you're definitely not going to land a senior position right away, unless you already have a ton of experience, the Cloud Practitioner opens up doors to junior remote cloud support roles where you can gain experience. From there, you can add more AWS certifications and you can advance to become a remote DevOps engineer, for instance, at $110,000 to $170,000 a year, bridging the gap between development and operations teams to secure seamless deployment processes. And with more experience, you could become a remote cloud operations engineer, making $121,000 to $185,000 a year. And in this role, you'd be responsible for maintaining cloud infrastructure, ensuring systems are running efficiently, efficiently and implementing security measures. And the exam is just $100, making it one of the most affordable certifications on the list. And the remote career potential is absolutely massive at the entry level and also down the line. And there's tons of people that have shared their experiences with this cert online. One person reported that I just passed mine today. I'm almost finished with my CS degree, but no cloud experience. And it was highly beneficial because of the many services and terminology associated with AWS. And within a month, I landed a remote position that pays double what I was making before. So if you're serious about future-proofing your career, learning about the cloud is probably one of the most valuable things that you can do, but not all of these certifications are going to be for everyone. So check out my list of recommended courses, certifications, and certificate by clicking the link down the description and the pinned comment below. And if you're interested in other Google certificates that might be a better fit for you, check out my video I did on the Google certificate tier list by clicking right here.